I saw someone with long hair and a gray robe outside the castle tonight. Did you know? She, it, ran across the road in front of me. That's why my car's in the ditch. Not till I was fifty and four did I see a banshee. To see one at your age, on your very first night in Ireland. A <laughs> special ass you are indeed. Do banshees ever leave things behind, like, say, little dolls? Do not be mistaken banshees for Santa Claus now. A warning is all they leave behind about something that's coming and can't be stopped. Do you dislike all Englishmen as much as you dislike Matt Simmons? Or is he special somehow? I've little use for any Sassnach. But I took a dislike into this one soon as I laid eyes on him. Arrogant he was. Cocky. Disrespectful. Foolish. Always touching things he shouldn't. Go in places he didn't belong. Worse than a stray dog that one was. What about Kyler? Aye, Kyler. She's different. She belongs here. It's in her blood. It's the reason she does not but read up in the library. She'll not be leaving Ireland, mark my words. And if she winds up marrying Mr. Foley, all the better. So, Kit, you like? Aye. He may talk like a Yank and live like a Brit, but there's Irish in the lad. I saw it right off. Little wonder he's in love with the girl. They'll make a fine pair. Well, wait a minute. Kit's not in love with Kyler. Blind, are you now? Loves her, he does indeed. He's all but wearing a sign saying so. He came to the wedding early to make sure there'd never be a wedding. Only the good people saw to that for him. Ah, the luck of the Irish. I'll let you drink your crow's nest in peace. Good night to you.
Those were just some sketches I made because I was bored. I do that all the time. I'm not after your property. Then what are you after? Nothing. Then why are you trying to tell me there's not going to be a wedding?